Hey guys, so it says express in standard form. So this is the standard form of an ellipse. When it's written in standard form, it's very easy to find the center of the ellipse and how wide the ellipse is and how tall the ellipse is. But when it's written like this, you can't easily identify the center or the width or the height. But we're gonna use completing the square to rewrite this in this form. So we're gonna complete the square for the x's and for the y's. So for the x's, we're gonna factor out the four and four times what gives us negative 16x, that's negative four x and then plus space. And then we're gonna add the y's, we're gonna factor out the nine, nine times what gives us 54y, that's 6y, and then we're gonna do another plus space. And then let's bring the 61 to the other side so it's equal to negative 61. And then we're gonna say plus four times this space plus nine times this space. So we're just balancing whatever we put in these spaces on this side, we also wanna put on this side. So to find out what goes into the spaces, we divide this middle term by two, negative four divided by two is negative two, and then we square it to give us four. And then to keep things balanced, we're also gonna put a four here. Then we take this middle term six, divide it by two, two and get three, square that and get nine. And we also put a nine here. The reason I wrote the half number down here is because that is the perfect square. X minus two squared is the same thing as this right here. And same thing for this one. The reason I brought the three down is because this is the perfect square. This will all be equal to the negative 61 plus 16 plus 81. Let's smush this all together. And on the right hand side, these all add up to 36. This is supposed to be equal to one. So we're going to divide everything by 36. 4 over 36 leaves us with a 9 in the denominator. 9 over 36 leaves us with a 4 in the denominator. And 36 over 36 gives us the 1 that we wanted. So now this is an ellipse with a center at 2, negative 3, with a radius in the x direction of 3 and a radius in the y direction of 2. How exciting. And if you guys want to try more completing the square, I have this page on andymath.com. The link is in the description.